Hi, it's Dwyer. It is Saturday, August 21st, 2021. Gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Bettingangle.us, a free site. Let's talk about a marquee heavyweight fight. It's going to be on a huge venue. It's happening October 9th. It's going to be on the Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder card. So, all eyes in the boxing community are going to be on this fight card, which also features another big heavyweight fight, Effie Agaba versus Frank Sanchez, right? But the fight we're going to talk about here is the rematch between Robert Hellenius and Adam Konotsky. Understand, Hellenius is 37. Kanatsky is 32. This is a major crossroads fight. The loser is going to have a major setback to their career. The first fight ended by stoppage. Let's talk about how we're going to play this one. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now the first one ends by stoppage early. Hellenius lands some right hands. The first major punch in a fight that Hellenius is losing badly. Right, he's been outlanded through three rounds by something like 30 punches, which is an awful lot in the heavyweight division. The punch that gets him in the driver's seat is a short right hand, right? Just understand, Hellenius is right-handed. Understand, Kanatsky is not defensively blessed. Needs to be a hunter. Now, oddly, the referee misses the short right hand and calls the first knockdown a slip. But Kanatsky... Even though the fight's in his backyard, the fight was in Brooklyn, right, seemed embarrassed by hitting the canvas, gets up too fast, doesn't clear his head, then of course proceeds to get dropped again, and then ultimately the fight is stopped. Now, here's the problem with the line, the lines of major betting opportunity. Believe it or not, for the rematch, you're getting Hellenius right now at a plus 225. A plus 225 on a guy who won the first fight, who's right-handed, who understands that his right hand works. It's there. Against this defensively challenged, but very active, front foot heavy opponent. Right, folks, the first fight was going Konotsky's way. He's not going to be able to change up his style. Right, he thinks he just got caught by a big punch. Let me also point out, too, that right now, BoxRec.com is saying that this fight is scheduled to go 12 rounds. Folks, there's no learning curve here. They both know each other. Kanatsky knows he can hit Hellenius, who's 6'6", in the body. Hellenius knows that Kanatsky is too front foot heavy and is there for his huge right hand. Right? Somebody is going to get stopped in this fight. Folks, this fight is not going to go the distance. Asking heavyweights who know each other who aren't going to have feeling out rounds. Understand, a lot of punches were thrown the first three rounds of their first fight. A lot of punches. Asking high volume heavyweights to make it 12 rounds. Even with Hellenius having gone the distance earlier in his career against Dylan White. It's too much. 
somebody's getting stopped here. So the value side of the play is on Robert Hellenius. Understand, they're telling you that if these guys fought 3.25 times, they're telling you that Hellenius would lose 2.25 of the 3.25 times. That's preposterous. He's going to be headhunting from the opening bell. He has a guy who's going to be wide open for right hands at times. Konatsky is a two-handed fighter. He's going to come in. He's convinced he was winning the last fight, which he was, before getting caught. So he's going to come out and he's going to try to do more of the same. He's not going to have his left hand up against the side of his head to block Hellenius's right hand. That's not going to happen. Understand, too, if you were going to dissuade Hellenius, the time to do so was in the first fight. Once he knocks you down, it's ruled a slip, you get back up, he knocks you down again, you get back up, he stops you. Once that sequence takes place, in the back of Hellenius's head is going to be the idea that he can catch you with right hands coming in. So the play I like, this bet makes itself, is the guy who won the first fight by early stoppage, Robert Hellenius, at plus 225, simply to win hedged with Kanatsky by stoppage. Guys, in this venue, on this stage, with the lineal heavyweight champion, Tyson Fury, who's unbeaten, going up against Deontay Wilder in their third fight. Right? Wilder, of course, was the WBC heavyweight champion for five years. On this platform, one of these guys is going to make a statement. Neither of them has an advanced back foot game. I'm not convinced Konatsky has a back foot. So what you're going to get is a shootout. Right? With the odds they're offering you, a plus 225 on one half of the play, all you need to know to make money here is that this fight is not going to go the distance. Somebody's going down. Understand, too, with Konatsky's volume, Hellenius at 37 is going to try to draw a line in the sand. 37-year-old heavyweights, apart from Chris... A uh, apart from the guy who Konatsky beat earlier, Chris Ariola. Apart from Chris Ariola, 37-year-old heavyweights in firefights eventually decide enough is enough. If either of these guys senses that they're tired, hurting on Stanima, about to go down, they're going to try to go for the knockout. I don't believe either of these guys is going to try to go the distance. So I like Hellenius, plus 225. Quite frankly, either guy, if you were getting a plus 225, given the low likelihood that this fight goes the distance, would make this fight a bettable fight. I like Hellenius at a plus 225, simply to win, hedged with Konatsky by stoppage. Konatsky landed 30 more punches than Hellenius, going into the fourth round of their first fight. He also had a higher connect percentage. He's not going to hide, folks. He's not going to be defensive. 
He's going to open up because he was having success in that first fight. Right? Konotsky did not know how to clinch that well in the first fight. In other words, if he gets in trouble, he's in big trouble. Understand, too, their last fight was the last fight for both of them. Neither guy has had the opportunity to regroup against other opponents. So, given that Konotsky is overly front foot heavy, and given that Hellenius wants him to walk into his right hand, I believe this fight is going to end early. I like Hellenius. The plus 225. We're not going to deal with over-unders because we want the leverage. I like Hellenius plus 225. Hedge with Konotsky. By stoppage. Play with the numbers so you profit if either happens. But understand the risk involved. Elenius has gone the distance with Dylan White, who is a highly thought of ranked heavyweight. Konotsky, of course, has gone the distance in other fights against people like Chris Ariola. If this fight goes the distance and Konotsky wins the decision, and he was winning the first fight before getting dropped. You lose it all. Understand the risk involved. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. Of course, if it goes the distance and Hellenius wins, you're picking up a plus 225. That's how I see it. Hellenius, simply to win, plus 225, Hedgewitz, Konotsky, by stoppage, no learning curve, one guy's front foot heavy, isn't defensively blessed, the other guy knows his right hand ended the first fight. I'm expecting a stoppage. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.